Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary blind playthrough. I'm trying to take on the game on the hardest difficulty without uh, having known anything about it beforehand or reading anything. So here we are. It's yet another scavenging site and I wonder so far guys, it's 15 min missions in and no one has died. Am I doing something wrong? And I mean that in the uh, in the most humble way. I am not good at the game and clearly I don't know what I'm uh, doing. And yet no one has died. So I'm maybe not playing hard enough content. I'm deeply concerned that there is maybe something as in raid more often, do harder missions, just work the soldiers uh, more often that I'm that I'm missing because we're down to 92 percent um, and yes we do have good soldiers overall but maybe I could have been faster or more decisive I don't know um, it's just I'm feeling slightly concerned about the state of uh, the game and that no one has died so far um, in terms of the soldiers overall really decent i want to upgrade a couple of them with uh, the mechanical upgrades so that's coming next good and we landed so we got one uh, chest over here one over there one over there and one back there pretty sparse mission hmm okay let's take a look what we're dealing with okay the pure well that is not a not very good news five by five the pure tend to be trouble. I just talked about how we haven't lost anyone. I do have great respect in terms of their combat prowess for the pure. Because they counter what we're doing. We don't have the weapons to get through their armor. Is our big problem. What do we have here? New Jericho assault rifle. New Jericho handgun. I think we're taking the assault rifle. Good job, Euler. Unfortunately, we didn't have the talent for for the inventory uh, management. So he actually is out of options to fire. The talent that allows you to reload. Pushing Manage on. your inventory without uh, action points. Need to get that for him. Grell moves up. I should have used Grell in hindsight. Oh, okay, it is what it is. Gotta keep going. He and the butcher Owens moves up. Free, uh, free aim. And yeah, that's the biggest problem. We're just not dealing enough damage against these guys. On the move. I mean, typically. After so many hits, you would see that they're all already down. But no such luck here. I want to get that uh, chest up there. Yeah, more pures are coming. Not good.
Moving. Should the ram moves up. I hope we're landing up here. Potentially can't take the stuff yet. Oh, we can. Good. Uh, Phoenix sniper rifle. That's our normal handguns. Assault magazine. Okay, cool. Well, not really great loot. Good. Jerenks takes the next loot. Grenade and material. Spider drone specialization pistol pack. I have no idea what that is. Take another med kit. All of our, our all of our assault rifles are basically doing not much against these guys. I'm here. All set. Oiler moves up. I'm not even sure if we should fight that. Overwatch. I think we should just potentially leave. We have three crates. It's okay. Let's look at that. I mean, we have overwatches. And he's even without his shield. All we did was four, four armor with damage. And we got 100 in return. Yeah, and more are coming now. <laughs> okay. Good. Time to motor. I'm not fighting a losing battle. Let's see now. Let's go. Moving fast. Um, not yet evacuate. There you go. Now we can evacuate. Pushing on. Euler pushes and gets out of here. Oh, there was another uh, chest right below it, but yeah, that's likely, that would have likely not happened. 
Just gotta accept the reality sometimes of fighting against enemies that have too much armor. And making it quick and decisive. We still got our stuff out. I need laser weapons against uh, armor. At least the assault weapons need to be laser. We had them at the beginning, but I can't build am ammo for them. So the moment that we get a reliable source of ammunition going, I would love uh, to use them. Here we go, these guys. Deimos magazine. Okay, I tell you what. You leave that here with us. And Tiger, you just get nor normal ammunition. Uh, we do have a U run machine gun. Which is good. But now to the actual soldiers. Two med kits are good enough. We don't need that much ammunition, they have 60 shots. Yeah. Problem is, we don't have enough Synhydrin laser sword rifle ammunition to go around. Can we manufacture that? Because these uh, weapons are actually quite helpful. They are dealing laser damage. And the last time I checked, that went through the armor. Good. Speaking about which, I think augmentation was on the table. Uh, we had a few things. The core torso. Let's uh, take a look at that because this is actually quite interesting. The core torso, you can have either have 45 armor or half of that. Uh, this is minus stealth, this is plus stealth, clearly. Uh, accuracy wise, this here is even given accuracy. And we do have uh, an energy shield, which I think is a fantastic ability, but here we do have melee weapon proficiency, uh, which and the, minim uh, the melee attacks cost one less, which for instance could be something uh, for our Berserker Grell, making it worthwhile considering that torso. Okay, for the heads, we have Clarity Head, immune to mind control, versus Echo Head, uh, no night vision, all weapons attacks are silent. Okay, cool. This is really more kind of a stealth sort of sniper. Uh, build and here we have immunity mind control bleed immunity. That is so good viral poison and paralysis resistance But vulnerability to acid. Okay, so what we actually need uh, when we fight against these guys are acid based attacks But where do I get those from? Okay, and the legs we got bleed immunity. Yep. Yep. Yep who does not trap or restrict and no suffering from from fall damage here we got the bleed immunity and uh, and viral poison and paralysis resistance always the same here we don't activate overwatch that wasn't so much a problem at this point Tell you what, I actually like these legs here better. But the armor is just absolutely king. 
speed minus one here we do have speed plus one here we have speed minus one okay so this here is slightly a little lower but clearly a more um, a more damage focused uh, a more tank focused approach so who would be the soldier that that we're giving that to Drenks is in the front line he has the shotgun proficiency let me think that through so here's the train of thought i think he could be a frontliner and could definitely benefit uh, from a bit more a bit more defense grell certainly would benefit from that torso like that would be awesome and compared to these this paper armor that uh, grell is currently wearing which offers additional speed i get it but uh, equally isn't really protective i could definitely see an advantage so i would say Jerangs and grell are the two test subjects for our augmentation and let's go with the Ooh. oh he looks mad i like it augment the soldier which just sounds like a uh, like a little sound here in reality means that soldier is getting his torso ripped apart and only the real legs and oh wow i don't even want to think about it that's pretty scary uh immunity to mind control is potentially better than that so we're augmenting the head for now safety limit reached no further augmentations no further mutations or augmentations allowed hmm so he now needs to live with his biological legs is what you're telling me Seems a bit like an oversight. Can you de-augment something? No, you cannot potentially. No, once it's augmented, it's augmented. Okay, but I don't regret any of that. He has a very nice shield, he is a frontliner. We got uh, the shotgun, we got a nice rifle. Albeit the rifle could be a bit nicer, but it's fine. Plus one speed. These have accuracy, these do not. Um, I'll just leave him with that. Looks legit to me. He just has a lot of ammunition overall. I'm really in the need of that much ammo. Is he ever going to shoot more than five times with a shotgun? Potentially not. Manufacturing. repair on augmented body parts well that is what he now needs these repair kits uh, which are a bit more expensive okay anyways let's look at the other options here because we had a few soldiers that were waiting for their additional class drinks being one of them but i would like to maybe prioritize dilly and sniper what could they benefit from so if we put in heavy that one is good 
the onslaught ability, but that's not a heavy. A heavy is inspire killing an enemy grants allies an additional one will point. That one would be good for a sniper. That wouldn't be bad either. The war cry is good, but not good for a sniper and melee. So this here doesn't synergize well. The dash would be helpful because we're currently suffering with it. Return fire, okay. Reloading doesn't cost, that's fantastic. Allies within 10 tiles recover two action points, that's okay as well. Cover two action points for each enemy killed until the end of the turn. Yeah, okay, it's going to be assault training. It is going to be assault training. Good combination. Um, careful with that with the Phoenix points. I might use them for others. Euler needs a second class and I wanted to make him a sniper because we do have two sniper assaults now and with a sniper he also Why is he not proficient with the sniper? Are you kidding me? Okay, you're not gaining the proficiencies. I see, but we're definitely, I want the overwatch uh, cost reduction. That's pretty handy for someone in the front line. So, uh, sniper, assault, good combination. We have that twice. And here we do have berserker heavy. Um, I would like to get another Berserker as a second class, but we can't really train that. We, I think we need to start with Berserkers. Here we do have an Assault, Drangs, and he could, as a second class, definitely benefit from, from uh, being a Berserker. If not, uh, we can do Assault Heavy. I think we don't have that combination yet. We do have Sniper Assault, Berserker Heavy, yeah, and then we're just going to find out what what works well. I'm a firm believer. Oh yeah, we have assault heavy. I'm a firm believer that there are no like really bad class combinations in games. Sometimes there are some minor exceptions where there are actually really bad class combinations, but most of the time you just need to find a way of making them work, right? So. Gain heavy weapon proficiency and 20% accuracy. I think we already got that. Um, bonus accuracy. This would be grenade throwing. Actually, it could be a fantastic grenadier. Thinking about it. With boom blast and then uh, ready for action with the inventory could load the inventory full of grenades and then he's like fruit, 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 throwing them <laughs> that's a cool idea um, I think for now he, he requires more strength that one healing item itself will not cut it instead let's give him something to do with two uh, ability points he doesn't have proficiency with guns, right? Sword rifles. It seems... Uh, proficiency heavy weapons. Proficiencies with assault rifles and shotguns. Okay, well he has proficiency with that. Which means I am wondering... If I should give him a shotgun, no, he needs something for range. Assault rifles and shotguns. Huh. 
How heavy is this? Uh, weight three. Yeah, we're not there yet. I don't want to start in encumbrance. His armor just weighs a lot. All right, sorry, got interrupted here. So, I was just reflecting about dual classes. Assault and heavy training together can actually make for a really good combination. I like the war cry that opens a lot of options. And yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to play it by ear. For now, it seems fine. Our ability points are spent. The team definitely could um, the team definitely could benefit from just uh, healing up. I'm wondering if we want to do the jump over here. I think that's not a bad idea. Let's trade. I want to trade eight for two, that's good. Four for five, that's also good. And we got everything that we needed. Very good. exploring and another trade now 10 for 2 is not good 4 for 6 would be good but I need those to uh, to build up um, the soldiers Okay, against the mist was here. Cool. Yeah, we're moving towards against the mist. Very good. We got finally those hammers, and we got the Zeus grenade. Action points, hands to use. Um, deals EMP damage. That is interesting. Still need that repair kit. Uh, we still don't have an option to reverse engineer. any of uh, the other weapons that we're uh, using. That's unfortunate. The laser weapon in particular, I would have loved to reverse engineer. Okay, let's see. Uh, that's not exactly what I would want to trade. You guys are all asking for the right, uh, the wrong stuff. The disciples of Kanu Haven is under attack. That's on the other side of the world. Hmm. But equally, I don't want them to uh, to die. So let's reroute and Mantico continues to explore. Searching the site and bingo, we got materials, tech, food, uh, food, everything. That's good. That also means in manufacturing, we'll get a repair kit, which then in return means Dranks here gets a repair kit. Complete. 
Power plant energy production increased by 50%. I like it. That's good. In terms of research, we're still doing all of uh, the free technology that they are giving us. And we're on our way to defend the Haven. Got a few more recruits. Uh, how long until the next plane is ready? That's three more days. I will start recruiting once, once that is a thing. Um, yeah, we would have another team then effectively. Already got a buggy for that extra team. But we're too early uh, yet to recruit for another team. So let's trade here. Tech 249. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, that's not the terms that I'm used uh, to see. Maduk's fist. Okay, so... We got a big fat melee item, which finally means Ender does have a hammer in his hands. And he can let the hammer drop. I like it. So we got that, and we got that. Sniper's ready. Birdie's anyways ready. Cool. Second team looks ready for that uh, invasion. And we're fighting the pure again. Uh, don't like that. Don't like that at all. I think I'll hold off on this one for now. Research complete. All right, Synodrian battle armor. What do we have? Accuracy-based battle armor. I think that's the one that that we have um, that that we started with. Archer on helmet. Ooh, that's a nice helmet. Very light armor, but high accuracy. I need to double check what does Billy G's armor uh, offer in terms of accuracy. 8, 12, 16. That new armor. Uh, that new armor would be t 10. 15, 20. Great perception as well. Just wondering, uh, the majority comes from the helmet. I think I want one of those. And that will happen in the next episode, guys. We are... Yeah, we, we need to help them. Pandorian attack. And we're rolling in with our team. Anyways, this was a bit of a calm mission. Uh, we definitely have seen that uh, we are currently not yet ready to deal uh, with heavy, heavily armored uh, enemies. But 
we'll, we'll get there, don't worry. If you find yourself uh, wondering if you can deal with a heavily armored enemy, the like button has quite a bit of armor, but I am ensuring you if you press hard enough, your mouse button will penetrate it and you will do deal true damage and it'll be a like. Just saying. Try it out and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.